recording now. OK, so um, hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I will start the recording and I'll just introduce you in a few words. OK, and OK. OK, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome uh, to our Hepatia uh, 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 Hepatia uh, uh, series for quantum computing in Alexander University. Uh, today we have uh, Dr. John Ting uh, uh, is a co-founder and uh, president of uh, Shenzhen uh, Spin Q technology. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Uh, in 2013, he graduated from Hefe National uh, Laboratory for Physical Science uh, uh, at the micro scale, uh, University of Science and Technology of China. Uh, and uh, he obtained his PhD in science. Uh, uh, at the postgraduate level, he engaged in the application research of spin spectroscopy. Uh, after his doctoral degree, uh, he joined uh, Proker China uh, as a senior manager uh, of the NMR department. Uh, he also joined the Pen Sheng Laboratory as a senior engineer uh, and co-leader uh, of uh, quantum control algorithm research group. Uh, later, uh, he joined uh, Shenzhen SpinQ technology as president. Uh, he has participated in the research and development of the world uh, first desktop nuclear magnetic resonance, as we are going to see today. We are very uh, excited to hear about it. Uh, also, a uh, nuclear magnetic quantum computing control algorithm. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jean Ting, for being with us today. Uh, and the floor is yours. Yeah, hello everyone. Th thank you. Um, I'm Jun Hin from Spring Hill. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks to Professor Ahmed, and uh, I'm very honored to give this talk to share something, uh, some of the things we are doing in quantum computing. And in addition, uh, since it's uh, about uh, two o'clock a.m. Beijing time, so I'm afraid I I cannot answer. <laughs> your pos possible questions this time. But um, I put my email screen, uh, my, my email address in the screen. So if you have any questions, uh, free fear to send me an email uh, later uh, in the last in the last page. I also I will also leave my email address. All right, I will start now. Um, what I want to share today is about Desk quantum desktop quantum computers. Um, when saying quantum computing, I think we will agree that quantum computing is the basic technology and an important driving force for the next for the next round of technology uh, revolution and industrial transformation. Um, Quantum computing can play an important role in the in the rails like this. Quantum computing can play an important role in the rails industrial fears in the future. And the scale of the market in the future is very huge, according to Boston Consulting Group. Um, in addition, when we talking about uh, quantum computing nowadays, we often talking we often talk about the advantage of quant of computing power, but in fact, maybe before we achieve the advantage of computing power, we may achieve the advantage of energy consumption advantage first. Well, um, as we know, the quantum computing technology is about to explode, booming field, but what about the talent and the practitioners in this, in this field? We all know that the future is the generation or the era of the quantum computing, but are our education and human resource ready for this future? Um, we all know that uh, the quantum computing professionals all of the world are very scalable, uh, are very scarce. So major countries 
take quantum computing education as a priority development direction. Since the education needs teaching equipment, teaching equipments. So, so our quantum computers are designed for education and teaching. In the slide, we in the slide shows that we already have two types of quantum computer on sales now. One is the Gemini, which is two qubit device, and the other one is Trianglum, which is three qubit. And we are developing a five qubit device. Um, maybe we will release this product uh, by the end of the year. I think these three models are suitable for professional field education, which can be used by teachers and students in colleges and in universities. I think they can also be used by quantum computer, uh, quantum computing teachers in high schools. Yes, um, and we will releasing, we will be, we will releasing uh, a smaller quantum computer soon, in this month. Actually, in this month, uh, it's named Gemini Mini. It has two qubits as well. I think it's going to be portable. It has because it has the size as a shoebox. And we think this product will be suitable for science education and K-12 students. And for other personal users. Um, Gemini, the Gemini and the Triang room need to be used with a classical computer. Um, because the control and measurement software need be installed in the classical computers. Well, the Gemini Mini comes with a touch tablet, a, a touch screen tablet, built in control and teaching software, so it can be used independently. Um, next, uh, let me let us take a close a closer look at Gemini first. In fact, uh, this is the second generation of Gemini. It has a new appearance. Uh, for this Q two qubit quantum computer, its cohort time is more than 20 milliseconds. And the number of single qubit gate operation, uh, which can be executed, will more than will be more than 200 gates. And for the two qubit gate operation, will be more than 20 gates. And um, I, I would like to say the fidelity of the single qubit gate uh, is more than 99%. And the fidelity of the uh, double qubit gate operation is more than 98%. And we equip hardware device with complete control and teaching software uh, like this. Like, like these slides, I like the screen. Uh, it's currently available in Chinese, both in Chinese and English version. And we have built rich quantum computing algorithm cases. Um, at the same time, yeah, uh, but I'm sorry, this is in, uh, this automation is in Chinese version. And uh, you could see at the same time, it can also Supporting programming uh, like this. This is the one qubit programming. And we can build custom, custom quantum algorithms by dragging the icons of operation gates and ex ex executing them to obtain uh, results. And this slide shows this slide shows the two qubit custom uh, we can build two qubit custom algorithms. And in addition, we have opened up the physical layer of the device 
so the professional users can build quantum algorithms starting from the pulse level. So this is a, the, the pulse, the pulse phase, pulse phase and the pulse weights. So the professional users can build quantum algorithm starting from the pulse level. And then here's uh, Triangulum. It's a three qubit device and its coherent time is more than 40 millisecond. And the number of except, executable single qubit gate operation is more than 40 gates and for multi qubit gate more than eight gates. And the fidelity of single qubit gate is um, more than 99% as well. And the fidelity for this uh, two qubit gate operation is more than 98 as well. Um, it also opens up the physical layer. And of course, it supports three qubit free programming. Uh, like this, um, we can drag, we can drag these icons to build uh, algorithm like this. We can build, yes, in, in, the, in, this, in this screen, we have built a groove algorithm by ourselves. And this, and then we can exec, ex execute it. And we will get the result. And this, this screen shows this is the actually actual physical signal of the operation. And uh, I, I think uh, it worth mentioning that it supports quantum neural network algorithms like this, which means that we can train the circuit by uh, interactively updating the parameters of the rotation gates. So you can see this is this is custom rotation gates. So I think such quantum machine learning applications could be very interesting uh, for professional use users or for teachers. And uh, in addition to the software, we also come with complete lecture notes for both teachers and students. Um, uh, I, I would have to I would like to share that with these desktop systems. Actually, we hold a quantum computing contest in a high school in China. Successful. Uh, actually, we hold a computing contest in a high school in China successfully, and they also provide uh, in this in this high school. They also provide quantum teaching materials for the classroom. Students can mm, build quantum circuit and run the experiment on the desktop system whenever they want. The system will get a result in a short time. The system will get a result in a short time. Um, well, um, I think that's it uh, for the introduction of desk quantum, desktop quantum computers. Um, finally, uh, I would like to introduce my company, SpinQ. And our company slogan is uh, like this, bring quantum computing to life. Our goal is not only to provide solution for quantum computing um, hardware and software. We are also committed to bring quantum computers into practical industrial sections. So in fact, our company has three main business directions. The first one is uh, practical superconducting chip quantum computer. Uh, actually, we add the self, we have added the word self-controlled in front of that, which means that uh, for me, for us, a, a company in China, uh, which means that we will realize independent research and development of all components of quantum computers. We have 
um, developed RF measurement and control system. We are building our own quantum chip fabrication center. So we will soon be able to design and fabricate quantum chips by ourselves. And we will soon leave, release, we will soon release superconducting chip quantum computer products. And our second business direction is desktop quantum computer I just uh, introduced, which aiming uh, the teaching and the education field. Um, our third business area is quantum computing algorithms and software. I just say that we are committed to bring quantum computers into practical industry sections, fields, which means that we not only provide quantum computer hardware, we also provide quantum computing software and solutions. Um, uh, let, let's imagine we envision a future um, where experts in practical industrial fields do not need to learn much about quantum computers. They just need to steer focus on their own business domain. And we migrate its work. The, we migrate this work from classical computers to quantum computers. I think they are in the future, they are just quantum computer users, uh, just like current uh, mobile phone and computers users. Uh, it means that uh, most of us now do not need to know how the CPU works. We only need to be able to use the computer or the phones or cell phones to send emails, to write uh, documents and beautify photos. That's enough. So uh, this is our three main business directions. And these are uh, uh, illustrations of our three uh, business directions. And it is worth uh, mentioning that we are now uh, also have our uh, cloud platform, quantum computing cl cloud platform. Uh, it's, named, uh, is, it's named as Taurus. And this is the link. And this, web, this is the website of the cloud platform. And uh, you can log in to use it. Actually, it's free. So everyone in the world can log in and to use it. Um, finally, uh, I'm honored to introduce that many customers around the world uh, have purchased our products uh, from uh, America to uh, Africa, from Europe to Oceania. Uh, uh, these are photos uh, sent by our users. Uh, this is in Norway. Uh, the, you, you, can, you can see this is the first generation, the first appearance of Gemini. And this is in, in Western Australia. And this in Hong Kong, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And this is the Gemini st st installed in, in Taiwan. Um, uh, here is my uh, introduce. And thank you, thank you all again. And since it's very late in China, so please, please feel free to email me uh, if you have any question. Thank you again. So, so thank, Professor Ahmed. Thank you Ahmed. For, for this yep. presentation. It's very, very, very informative. So uh, you, you cannot allow question for five, ten minutes? Uh, yes, of course. So if anyone has uh, any question, please uh, uh, write uh, uh, your question on the chat or raise your hand. We can unmute you. Only for uh, 15 minutes, Dr. Jonting will allow questions. <laughs> so please. So I, I, I have a question for myself until uh, everyone uh, get his question ready. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what about the maintenance? So if we put uh, quantum computers in Egypt, for example, uh, 
Uh, how about the maintenance of the device? How can we arrange this? Mm, you, you, you mean that uh, we built the custom quantum algorithm in the no, device no, in mean, software? Uh, if, if the device has any problem, for example, because it is um, uh, the price is is quite um, expensive, right? So what uh, if the device itself has some problem? How can we manage the maintenance of the device? Um, actually, for this uh, desktop device, it do not need any uh, maintenance or service. It can be used in room temperature in a common classroom or in common laboratory. So uh, it is guaranteed for how long? Uh, it, uh, we, we provide a guaranteed time is two years. Okay, so Karim, uh, I think you have a question. Um, yes, uh, can, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, can, can we use Qiskit uh, alongside uh, the software or the SDK of, of this computer? Uh, actually not, uh, because uh, you, you, will, you, will, you will see that uh, the quantum circuits just is to, to one qubit, uh, two qubit, or three qubit. So it's very simple uh, quantum circuit. So we mm -hmm. just using to, to, to drag in the icons to build the algorithms. I think okay, it, it's okay. okay. But uh, but actually, um, in the I I will I will see that uh, in the okay um, in the three qubit device. Uh, actually, we have the function to submit coding. Uh, coding program, pro, pro, uh, coding programming, uh, but the language is not Qiskit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what about uh, the uh, the pulse level uh, of the system? Uh, can we program the device itself, even using the SDKA, with a specific type of, of pulses? Is it is yes. it possible? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, actually, um, I'm sorry. This is in, in Chinese version. Actually, we have the English version. Uh, I'll, I'll translate it. Uh, this is uh, one. The first qubit H. Uh, actually, in NMR system is hydrogen uh, nu nuclear, and we have uh, three parameters. The first one is the pulse phase, the first of phase, and the second one is the delay of the pulse. The second one is the width of the pulse. So one blank, uh, one square is one pulse, and a second square is a second pulse. So we can build the algorithm on the pulse level. OK, OK, Th thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, uh, one final question. Um, what about the quantum volume of the device? Uh, how many how many consecutive gates that we can apply? Um, Actually, we, we have not uh, measured the, the quantum volume, but I, can, I could say that uh, I just I, we have the data uh, for the for the Gemini. Uh, the coherent time is uh, 20, 20 minutes, milliseconds. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we can execute uh, more than uh, 200 gates of single qubit and 20, uh, 20 gates, more than 20 gates of two qubit. Okay, thank you so and, much, and thanks thanks uh, yes, a lot for your and, time, especially. Yes, and the trunk room, yes, trunk room have more have more current time, but but uh, in trunk room, uh, the the t the duration of the gate operation is more than uh, which in Gemini, so the operation gates is uh, somehow less. Thank you so much for your answer. Thank you. Uh, I think Ra Raja has a question. Uh, can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Yeah, hi. Uh, thanks for the nice talk. Um, I want. I have two questions. One is how upgradable are your desktop systems? So if I buy two qubits today and uh, two years down the line, you have 10 qubits. Do I have to completely throw away the two qubit system and buy the 10 qubit system, or somehow can you upgrade uh, things? And the second question is what is the price for your Gemini 
mini um, computer. Yep. Um, let, let's answer. Let, let, let me answer you. Uh, uh, one question by one question. The first question is: uh, You mean that we will uh, release a new product of five qubit uh, by the end of the year? Um, but I think the the purpose of these products have ha they have different different purpose, and and actually in an armor system uh, in the desktop quantum computers in armor system. Actually, I think the five qubit is the upper limitation of the qubits. Uh, as you know, um, uh, for LMR system, we can uh, minimize, min minimum, we can, we can minimum the size of the device, but uh, the disadvantage of the LMR system is that we could not get more uh, qubit system. Actually, uh, as you know, uh, the, the, world, the world record of the qubit, of the number of qubit, in the RM system, the world record is 12 qubit. But the uh, 12 qubit should use, we should be using a huge uh, number system. So for desktop uh, device, I, I, I think the 5 qubit is, is the upper limit. And um, as you know, for these different devices, and they have different price, so I think the two qubit device we're 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 cheaper and five qubit device will be um, the price the price we are we're, we're more than the two qubit device. And the second um, question from you is that the price of Gemini Mini. I would say yeah. that, yep, yeah, I would say that the Gemini Mini price for the end user is about five thousand US dollar or sixty or or, or six thousand US dollar. Okay, and what can that do? Like, can it run some algorithms, or uh, like, can it run Grover or uh, Deutsch's algorithms? These kind of things. The Gemini Mini. Yes, yes, of of course. Um, we can build uh, some uh, algorithm cases. Uh, uh, I think I I think we have built uh, forty uh, fourteen. 14 algorithm cases in it, and we can also build custom algorithm by ourselves. Um, but I would I would say, uh, what the differences between Gemini and Gemini Mini? Uh, one is a, a large size and one is smaller size. Uh, what the differences between them? It, the, the key difference is about the fidelity. Actually. Okay. Actually, the smaller one have have worse fidelity. Maybe okay. um, 90, 95, around ninety five percent. Okay, that's that's still pretty good. I think you know for for a small computer yeah, like yes, this, yes. that's that's yes, pretty. Yes, you're right. I, I think for teaching and for for training, I think it's 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 suitable. Yeah, great, great. I think very interesting devices. I think. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, uh, I, I have one last question. Uh, yes. we, we took a lot of time for you. Uh, so uh, can we use these devices as a random number generator, quantum random number generators? Uh, sorry? Can we use these devices uh, as a quantum random number generators? Uh, quantum? Random number generators? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I cannot uh, hear your your words clearly. Uh, so, uh, maybe I can help. Uh, he's asking whether you can use the computers as uh -huh. quantum random number generators. Oh, for, for yes. generating random. Yes, I, I, I get quantum random gen quantum random number generation. Yeah. 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 Uh, I I I'm afraid they cannot act as this function. So uh, again, maybe I can chip in, but uh, quantum computers can be used for random number generation. And uh, I, I don't see why you cannot use this. I think you can, but uh, um, but maybe that's something we can discuss later. I, I, I think you can, but anyway.
Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I um, believe if, if we can get any output from this device, not only to display the results, we can get output on, on our yeah, yes. laptop. I, I so would like I would like using to... Hadmart gate, we can uh, generate random numbers. Yes, I, I, I would like to give a brief explanation. Uh, you, you, you can judge whether I'm, uh, am I right? Um, for an IMR system, uh, when we give a measurement, once actually the system is measuring a number of um, a number of uh, uh, a, a number of uh, nuclei, in, be, be, because in a normal system we are measurement we are we are measuring a number of molecules. Because in, in the normal system, the qubit is the rear nuclei. And you, as you know, in the uh, in the tube, in the sample tube, there are many, many nuclei. So when we take a measurement, actually we measure a number, a huge number of nuclei, a huge number of qubit. Uh, that qubit, th this qubit is, is one type of qubit, qubit, but the number of qubit is, uh, is a large, number. So when we measurement once, actually we get the result is the average result. But uh, I think maybe again we can discuss this later, but there are mm -hmm. ways of using entanglement um, and bell tests. Um, so you can generate entanglement presumably, right? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you have um, so some kind of bell inequality violation can be used to generate random numbers, but maybe that's we can discuss another day. Um, so maybe there are ways of generating random numbers, but uh, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, yes, yes, we can, we can discuss maybe uh, it will be a, 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 a new function in the device. Yeah, yeah, we can email each other. I will email you, but I think you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I think we uh, uh, we took a lot of time from Dr. Jonting. He he, <laughs> we insist to ask questions. We took uh, more than fifteen minutes. Uh, I think no problem. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, are you ready to take more questions, or you would like to uh, end the meeting because it's too late? I know it is too late in China now. Um, okay, I I think. Uh, uh, for this time, it's uh, okay right now. Okay. So I think so, no more questions. We have no more questions now. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your time and for giving this presentation and for being uh, in uh, uh, in the Alexandria Quantum uh, Computing Group Hepatia Series. Uh, we hope to see you again to give presentations about uh, the new versions of the device uh, and I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you all, thank you for your time. Thank you, thank, thank you. you everyone. Thank uh, you. And we hope to Bye. see you again in uh, in uh, our talks. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank very you, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.